So I'm going to give you three tips for sleep that come straight out of the sleep book by Matthew Walker. And these are in, a, in an appendix in the back of the book where you have 12 tips for sleep. And the first one he says, which is the most important one, if you could choose one out of all the other ones, it is to choose a regular sleep schedule and stick to it. So if you go to bed at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock, you know, whatever it is, uh, stick to that and then get up about the same time every single morning. So it keeps your circadian rhythm in balance, essentially, and it trains your brain when it's time to start uh, pumping out melatonin and time to shut off the light. The next one is about exercise. He said it is good to exercise to put in some strenuous physical activity and you actually get deeper um, in REM sleep. That's the non REM sleep. Um, when you do extra exercise and after you've been on a regular regimen of exercise um, you they've found in studies that people sleep on average an hour longer per night and, and it's deeper sleep so that makes sense you want to sleep more to recover more and you get deeper rest but it's it's better for you to have that balance of exercise although you don't want it too close to when you go to sleep because it can uh, wake up your systems too much and raise your internal body temperature so your body doesn't cool down in order to uh, go into sleep mode. So he talks about caffeine and nicotine as stimulants being something that really is harmful uh, as far as sleep goes. Um, caffeine has a half-life of about four to five hours in your bloodstream and so um, that, that just means if you have you know, say if you drank a cup of coffee, a half a cup worth of caffeine would still be in your system four to five hours later, or a fourth of it after eight to 10 hours. And so if you have a cup of coffee at noon to two, somewhere in there, um, you'll still have about a quarter of the amount you drank in your uh, bloodstream, in your system at 10 p.m. when you go to bed. So just think about that, and that will keep you from getting that deeper uh, sleep that's, that's afforded to you during your sleep cycles in your dreams. Also to avoid uh, nicotine or other stimulants that speed you up too much and you can't calm down for bed. So I would say try to prioritize sleep. Uh, think about um, what you can do to, to prioritize it for yourself and get some good sleep tonight, whenever that tonight is that you watch this video. Uh, but yeah, it's one of the most important uh, things you can do, I think, to restore your health. So um, hope you guys have a good day and a good evening and good night. <laughs>